The political career of Brazil's leftist former president seems to have come to its end, as Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva is to spend 12 years behind bars for corruption. Surrounded by thousands of his supporters, the 72-year-old founding member of the Workers' Party was holed up in a building near Sao Paulo over the past few days. He skipped a Friday deadline to turn himself in to police. However, in a passionate speech, Lula agreed to comply with his arrest warrant late Saturday, but insisted on his innocence. I'm doing a very conscious, very conscious thing. I told the comrades that if it depends on my will, I would not go. But I will go. I'm going because they are going to say tomorrow that Lula is out of the way, that Lula is hidden. No, I'm not hiding. I'm going there and see their faces so they know I'm not afraid, so they know that I'm not going to run, and so they know I'm going to prove my innocence. Two last-minute appeals to have Lula's arrest warrant suspended failed. The former president says the case against him is politically motivated. Uh, what's happening in Brazil since 2016 is actually nothing but a coup. Uh, a constitutional coup and a palace coup which is started in Brazilia with the impeachment of the president Dilma Rousseff. She was impeached by the Congress in 2016 and removed from her post. And she belongs to the same political party, Workers' Party, to which Lula belongs and Lula was two-time president of Brazil. Uh, he has been tried for corruption and is being projected as the biggest step against corruption. But the fact is that Lula has been convicted on a very, very flimsy ground. The evidence against him has been very fragile and is nothing more than a political trial. Former Brazilian President Lula da Silva was convicted of receiving a renovated beachfront apartment worth over a million dollars as a bribe from an engineering firm. The charges against Lula came from an anti-corruption investigation known as Operation Car Wash, which has embroiled top politicians from several parties. The veteran Brazilian politician accuses the judiciary and media of assisting a right-wing coup to prevent him from running in the upcoming presidential elections. Opinion polls show Lula was the front-runner for October's vote. As a convict, he would normally be barred from standing for election, but Brazil's top electoral court reserves the final decision if and when he submits his candidacy. Lula da Silva, a former metal worker and trade union activist, is an iconic figure for the left in Latin America. He was the first left-wing leader to make it to the Brazilian presidency in nearly five decades. Under his two consecutive terms in office from 2003 to 2011, Lula oversaw robust economic growth and falling inequality amid a commodities boom. He left office with a sky-high approval rating of 83% was once called the most popular politician on earth by former U.S. President Barack Obama. There has always been an American hand behind the toppling of, of elected governments, uh, behind dictatorships. The dictatorships in this part of the world, especially in Brazil, have been blessed by the U.S. Uh, the, the first uh, coup which happened here in 1964 was planned and plotted by the Kennedy administration. Uh, and I think we, have, we are seeing a similar thing happening again. Uh, and the reason for this is very, very simple, because the Brazilian government under Lula and Dilma Rousseff was very, followed a very independent foreign policy. Uh, they worked on the resources of the country and they tried to keep the natural resources for the people of Brazil. Lula's imprisonment may have dealt a blow to Brazil's left, but it has also shaken up right-wing politicians, most of whom are also under investigation for graft. <laughs> 